Hey guys, um, I thought I'd do the terrarium update video. I thought it'd be a good idea to just kind of take a look at all the terrariums I've built sort of over the year and we can assess, you know, the life in each of them and all that kind of thing. So, I mean, we're starting off looking at the ISA project. Now the ISA project, in my opinion, does look pretty nice and we just did a revamp of it like about a month ago now. And yeah, I mean, all the plants are growing in quite nicely. We definitely need to do a bit of moss in the back. I'll probably just do that one day and like update you guys on it. But you know, it's a very nice enclosure. I'm quite happy with how it looks. And it's probably one of my favorite terrarium, vivarium sort of things. Uh, moving into the other terrariums, we have this little cactus one. Cactus is doing quite well. We've also got this little succulent here, not really part of a terrarium. And this pot had some moss in it, but it's all dried out. I'd also like to take a look at the springtail culture here, which you can see is doing quite well. There's a ton of springtails in here, which is perfect for when we make a few terrariums uh, in the coming weeks. Here's a jar I'm gonna be using, actually. It's a future project. Here's a quick look at the 10 gallon, all growing in nicely, and the nine. Uh, just some plants I've got on top. We got our sweet potato, goldfish plant, asparagus fern, which is looking a little dried out, uh, whatever this is, and spider plant, all doing quite nice. Uh, over here, we have another succulent, along with my turkey that I made out of polymer clay. And here we have a small little nanoterrarium, I guess you'd say. This one's doing quite well. Got some nice mosses in it. And, you know, a cool hardscape. Um, it had some plants, it's got a lot of growth in the back. It had a few actual, like, proper plants that weren't just moss growing back here, but I think the moss choked them out. Uh, overall, this one is a nice little sort of desk side terrarium here. Quite like it. Don't think anything's gonna change about that one. Up here, we have sort of the failure hall. Uh, we have my overgrown uh, original. This was the second terrarium I ever made. We got this one I had growing sideways. Uh, this, these are all pretty much disgusting. There's the algae project from that. I, this was for the ecosphere originally. I didn't end up using any of that. If you remember when I made this one, I completely cleaned it out. Basically, all these ones were either too small or didn't have enough charcoal or were too moist. Just a variety of problems that pretty much killed the moth. That one was too dry. These two were too dry. This one as well, because it didn't have the gasket, which we're gonna be using now. This one was in too bright of an area. This one, didn't, these two didn't have charcoal in them. Um, these two didn't get enough maintenance. And this one, I think, may just be too small. Uh, so we're gonna basically turn all of these into revamped terrariums in the coming weeks. We've also got our two plant jars here. And I've also got this little cup of plants here. I'm gonna just let you guys take a look at that. There's Daphne in here, which are gonna be great. If I do end up getting my pygmy sunfish, which I'm really hoping I can do because that would be so cool to have some fish that aren't just, you know, pet smart fish. Plus, it'd be so good for the channel. Uh, we can see the pothos here. What is... That's not good. We're just gonna... Snip you off here. Just, I usually stick dead leaves in other pots to give, like, nutrients and stuff. I don't know if it really works. Got my other pothos here. Looking nice, looking nice. Uh, now let's head to my bedroom, and you know what? I was originally going to do a full video on the bowl update, but I think I'm just going to do that in this video. So let's go take a look at the bowl and the terrariums in that room. Actually, before we look at that, I just want to show you these two ones. These ones live downstairs, but my brother's down there and he's loud, so we're just going to take a look at them up here. Here's the terrarium I made for Hallie, my dachshund. Uh, she unfortunately passed quite a while ago. I never made a video on her or anything, because I don't know, the concept of death makes me uncomfortable. Um, but... <laughs> This was terrarium I made for her, and the reason it's for her is because the nerve plant in here was from, basically a lot of people were showing their support to us and they gave us some potted plants. And unfortunately those potted plants eventually reached their end. However, the nerve plant has been preserved in here, so it's to me it's really important that I keep this terrarium alive and the nerve plant alive. There's also pothos and a ton of moss from outside. And while this terrarium does need to trim, it is doing quite well and I'm quite happy with the growth. Uh, when we do end up doing the revamp with all those terrains up there, I'm going to be giving this one a bit of a trim and doing a bit of maintenance in that video. Uh, we also have this little one, little mountainside view. I never really do stuff like this. I kind of like to make it look like what it is. I'm usually not a fan of making like aquatic or terrarium stuff look like something it isn't. But for this case, I don't know. I really like this one. It looks like little hills and stuff. But yeah, those are my two. These are probably my two most decorative ones and two of my favorite, honestly. But now let's take a look at the ones in the uh, bedroom. Just quickly in the bathroom, we have this old terrarium that's completely dried out and I need to, I don't know what to do with this. Probably just gonna turn into like a potted plant, potted plant, potted plant. We've also got some hens and chicks in this little pot, which I'm also gonna probably do something else with. But now let's actually look. 
in the bedroom here. I've cleared off that shelf and hopefully a 20 gallons going there. Um, let's look at these trains in here. So first one we have is my healthiest one. One of my best trains in a pickle jar. This is a mossarium, I guess. It's completely moss. It grows so well because of the light and you can just see. Let's actually open it up to take a look and get a good look in there. Lots of moss growth. It's, it's just a very nice train. It's overrun with springtails, which is just so nice. You can probably see some on the edge there. There you go. And yeah, this is one of my healthiest trains by far, which kind of sucks that it's in a pickle jar, but I think it's kind of cool. I'm kind of a fan of the whole aesthetic, I guess you'd say, of like nature taking back over. Uh, we have, this was my one from that terrarium ASMR video, which all the moss dried out, so I turned into a little succulent terrarium. It's not the best looking one. I'm probably gonna add a bit more soil and stuff. We'll probably do that in the revamp as well. Uh, here we have the bowl. Looking as good as ever. You know, we've got flowering bacopa, which is probably my favorite thing. And I'll, uh, I'll probably play some extra footage of the shrimp going around here. Just a sec. We have lots of red root floaters and salvinia of different sizes. We've got pothos, which is dying due to the lack of nutrients. But I'm going to explain a little project I hope will happen. Well, actually, no, I'm not going to suspend any of that because I already mentioned at the start my plan is to get some pygmy sunfish they are super tiny fish they will thrive in this 2.5 heavily planted bowl I'm hopefully gonna breed them sell them you know make a make a bit of money off of that that would be amazing to actually profit a bit from this hobby and it'd be nice to get something in here other than cherry shrimp you know have something a bit more interesting uh, in the bowl for those of you that don't know we have bacopa pothos or bacopa or money word I should say pothos an air plant an air plant, bamboo, uh, anacris, two java ferns, <laughs> a marble moss ball, uh, a sword fern, and a uh, anubis. And yeah, that, I think that's it. There's probably a few other things in here I forgot to mention. Uh, I want to stick some, uh, maybe some hair grass in here, maybe a bit of java moss, get that really good jungle aesthetic going that we already have. I, I never trim this thing and I, I don't plan on it for a long time. Uh, stocking in here, there's pond snails and shrimp. As I said, I'll probably show some footage of the shrimp on screen right now because finding them is difficult. There are only two in here, as far as I'm aware, and they, they don't breed. I don't know if it's because one, they're both like males or like, I don't even know how that works. But uh, yeah, temperature, for those of you who are curious, it's about, these suck, but it's somewhere in here. 70 degrees is ideal for our, our little, what are they called? Uh, pygmy sunfish so my hope is that without a heater this thing will stay perfect temperature for them because I would love to breed those fish I will take a quick look at the jararium here looking good all the plants are growing in especially that hornwort look at that hornwort the rubber band's still there you can see a ram's horn snail wood is getting close to waterlogged I just do a water change on this um, I'm probably gonna put a few shrimp in here honestly I've been thinking about it but I can't yet because shrimp are incredibly sensitive to ammonia and this is like 4 ppm ammonia doesn't matter for plants certainly doesn't matter for snails but would definitely kill a shrimp but I mean there's a shrimp in that plant cup so I don't really know how it works up here we have two more of my terrariums we actually have my one of my favorites right here uh, this one also one of my favorites is unfortunately dying uh, that plants doing well but otherwise the plants are pretty much all dead which is kind of unfortunate. So we're definitely just gonna be replanting that one, keeping the hardscape how it is. This terrarium is one of my favorites. If we take a look at the back here, and let's actually shine the light up here. To really get a good look. There's just so much like life growing in here. It's definitely not my prettiest one, but it is probably my most interesting. Probably on the same level of interest as the ISA project. Just so much stuff happens. Uh, you. It's hard to see, but there are millipedes in here, so let's actually open this guy up so you guys can get a better look at it. As you can see, there's a lot of little plants, little oxalis, a bunch of moss, and there's the millipede. Try to focus on him. There's a ton in here. If we flip the rock around, maybe... No, nope. but yeah, I, I'm thinking for this one, I want to preserve the ecosystem, so I'm not going to really redo it, but what I am going to do is kind of just add a bigger plant sort of in the middle just so it, and wipe down the glass, because that's one of the biggest problems with that one is you can never, like, you can't see into it. 
That's also the problem with the one I made for my dog, Hallie, is that you can't see it either. But if we give it a nice wipe down, you know, it's not the ugliest terrarium. And with the writing on the front, it definitely needs some other plant going in there. But I mean, yeah, that's pretty much just all the terrariums, what's been going on, with, and all my other plants as well. I've got a few more downstairs, and we'll, I guess we'll go take a look at those really quick. Put the light back on the bowl. Yeah, I'm really hoping to get those pygmy sunfish, because that would be awesome. Look at all the bacopa. It's so, I love this bowl. It's so cool. But I'm really hoping to get some pygmy sunfish in here, and then um, there's other projects I don't need to talk about. But let's just go to the basement, not the basement, let's just go downstairs really quick and look at the other few plants. So here we got a maiden's hair fern, the same one that's in the garden, and we've also got a different one. Hi, Liam. Hi. Hi, Cash. Hi, Cash. We've got a different one over here, which is doing quite well. Um, we've got some succulents, like a jade plant sort of thing, some sedum, the same kind that's out there, <laughs> a little aloe vera planty thing, and then those are where the terrariums normally live. We've got another succulent, another succulent. This little planted thing, which is doing quite well. This was the, pl the pot, I believe, the Nerf plant was in, or it was a similar one, I can't remember. It wasn't doing well in there at all. The second it went in there, it did well, because when we went to the garden store, it said, works great in terrariums, and we tried it out. Finally, here's some oxalis. The green one is recovering. It was doing really bad for a while, but that's all the terrariums and plants in the house. Now, what the idea is for the next video well, the plan, I guess, is will be to take all the terrariums I have, well, pretty much all the terrariums on the shelf there, up in here, take all of those, and some of the empty jars as well, those two, the succulent one, and then the one downstairs, the one I made for my dog, and maybe even the ISO project, and what we're going to do is clean them up, do maintenance on the ones that are salvageable, this one is salvageable, and then redo all the other ones with proper false bottoms and everything. And then what I'll do, I'll probably do that all in just one massive video, and then save one, probably that one, that'll be its own separate video. And then I'll, I don't know why I'm panting, I haven't been moving. I'm not fat either, okay? Like, <laughs> um, I've just been talking a lot today, I guess. I, I, I did narration for another video, and then I have to delete it, because it sucks. Um, but. Anyways, we'll get all the terrariums, get them all ready, I'll do a nice big old video, and then probably for the one where I do one, we'll do an update later, but then for the big one, I want to have it all done in one video. So by the end of that video, you, like, at the end of the video, we'll see all the growth and see how everything's doing. Plus, wouldn't this shelf just look so nice with actually lively terrariums? Yes, I think it would. Uh, so yeah, that's basically it. Uh, what else is coming up soon? Um, I'm going to be culturing some isopods. Should be interesting. I'm gonna try to culture my Daphnia up in there. I uh, might do a little immerse setup. It won't be like a tank or anything. It'll just be like a big Tupperware like that'll sit underneath these guys. But we'll have to wait and see if any of that can happen. Thank you guys for watching. Here's some of my clay guys. You'll see them all in better detail in an upcoming sketchbook tour. Woo! I have to actually do some art for that because I've only done like that much since you guys last saw it. But <laughs> anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. That was supposed to sound nicer. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll catch you guys in the next one, where I probably just upload a fish cast so I feel productive. I'll see you guys then.